Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another MAMG Let's Play. Today we're going to be playing Hello Charlotte Episode 2. Now we just finished Episode 1, and I thought about going back and getting the different endings for that game, but it seems like this one has a lot more lore in it, and I just wanted to dive straight into this one, because we got the best possible ending for Episode 1. The other ones are just kind of different variations of bad endings. With this one, I think there's actually different endings that you can get, so I'm really curious about it. And after thinking about it, I just figured, you know what? Let's just go into episode two. I'm curious. They said there were going to be answers, and I really, really want to know what they're talking about. Inside a dream, I laugh, and the world laughs with me. Inside a dream, I forget, and the world forgets with me. Inside a dream, I am the world. Hello, world. Hello, Charlotte. Okay. Yeah, Requiem Eternam Deo. Say that one three times fast. As the seasons die one by one, the slumbering gods' heavy eyelids open once again. A choir of voices echoes in a fog-filled box of a mind. Hi. I must be dreaming. Since the oracle became a part of me, my dreams always take place in here. Okay. A pitch black land where time does not exist. For these three years, I've slept next to them in deafening silence. This time, it's different. The Oracle is awake. Hi! Good morning, Seth. Today, we will get up, go to school, and go back to sleep again. Please, take care of me. Cool! Oh, her room's changed a little bit. <coughs> Is this voice acting? <clears throat> Is it morning already? Meow. Meow? I feel a paw poke at my face. Just a few more minutes. Meow. It sounded almost reprimanding. Mad Cat nuzzles against my cheek. Right, you must be hungry. Just wait a bit. <coughs> uh. I look at my hand. It's covered in something dark. It's not blood. Weird. Meow? It's nothing. Don't worry. Yeah, people just cough up stuff all the time. Don't even worry about it. Umbrella Man was right. Throughout these years, my health really did become worse. We still have a bit of time before school, Seth. Let's feed Mad Cat and greet everyone on our way. Okay, greet everyone. Go to school. Got it. There's a drawing inside. Look at it. Yes. Happy birthday. It's a drawing of me and Anri. Who's this? Seth, don't tell me you don't remember. It's my friend, Henrietta. She always tells me to call her Anri, though. She drew this picture for my birthday. So nice of her, isn't it? Okay. The kingdom of God is within you. Welcome to the Data Omnicube. Okay, user rules. Do not turn off the screens. Do not disturb the neighbors. Do not speak of house tenants. All right, doors. Be polite with doors with a puppeteer symbol. Bring elevator doors a cool sticker. All right. Only users with X in their names have access to doors with a puppeteer symbol. Welcome to the teleport Omnicube. Okay, so we can teleport. We don't need to do that. Understanding maggots. Nice. I don't think I looked at everything here. Um, Omnicubes? Short for omnipotent cubes are multitask devices that allow data storage, organic matter transportation, duplication, I'm guessing duplication, creation, or disintegration. Please do not put liquid soap inside the Omnicubes, as it might cause unforeseen consequences to happen. Sounds like something we should do. All right, tenants. List of registered tenants, Charlotte Wiltshire, Felix Honecker, Henry Huxley, Bennett, Aiden, and Mad Cat. Mad Cat's Listed as well. True Realm Research. I don't feel sleepy just yet. Okay. Clothes, hairpins, microchips, cockroaches. One of these items is not like the other. T two of them, really. Eden, the God Delusion, the Joyous Wisdom. Okay. So the house layout seems to be close to the same. The snake who ate its tail and player synthesizer. Felix got this plant for his birthday. He seems to like it more than any being in existence. It's called a Venus flytrap. Venus for short. Who gave it to him? Sometimes it feels like this lamp moves on its own. 
Makes me wonder if it's alive. Whoa, what's with that face? You look awful. Look at you, Felix! Complimenting me this early in the morning? Tch, whatever. So cold. By the way, wasn't there a kitchen here before? Must be the house's structure changing again. Try the second door on the right. Chemicals are bubbling inside the flasks. Okay, one flew over the coal's nest. Uh, simul scares at simulation and flatland. Interesting. Okay, he said the second door on the right, but I don't know if I want to go to the kitchen quite yet. Ooh, look at all these TVs. Um, no. We don't have time to watch TV. Psh, goes to static noise. <laughs> Bennett's favorite show is supposed to be running soon. I often remember my journey to the TV world. Yeah, I bet. I mean, it's not something you could forget that easily. So, here's the kitchen, but we don't want to go there yet. Bathroom. A toilet. Yep. Toilet paper smells like apple pie. What? It's almost scary how far humanity has progressed with adventure. Why apple pie? Like, why, why would you... Whatever. Anyways. <laughs> There's a monthly supply of liquid soap inside. Yeah, let's take some. Acquired soap bottle. It's blueberry flavored. Don't drink it. There's an acidic smell coming from the plastic bag in the bathtub. It's better not to touch it. Can we drink it? <laughs> uh, it tastes arguably bad. Look how cute Charlotte is. I love that little chibi version of her. Okay, what's in here? See, before you could actually try the soap and she said it tasted awful. Morning. In high spirits like usual. Good morning, Bennett. Mind explaining why my bathtub is filled with acid? It's just asking. Bennett flees the scene. Should we chase after him? Nah, let's leave the scolding to Aiden. A neat freak's fury can drag even Bennett out of extreme procrastination. Okay, left to the basement, right to school. So we don't want to go to the school yet. Why is it there? That's weird. Okay, so this is the basement. Oh my sweet lord. Maybe before we go there, we should try the other section over here, huh? Because there's nothing here. Some papers are lying on the table. Take a peek. Yeah. It's Huxley's handwriting. An essay regarding the educational program translated to human speak. I find the socialization system rather pointless, thus unnecessary for an individual. I sincerely believe that it is up to the student whether to socialize or not. With our reanimation technology, we can bring back to life both dead and hollow people alike. What's a hollow person? That's interesting. Even if they don't express sentient behavior afterwards. Okay, phone's been broken for a while. The year I had a pay ra rise, <laughs> embrace the overtimer in you. Okay, never trust a salesman, cold-hearted janitor, alpha physicist. I didn't know it was possible, but somehow these romance book titles have changed for worse. If I leave, crash into your car, I kissed your cat. Indecent web browser history. Mother shelf is growing bigger, isn't it? I guess. Huxley moved most of his books to the basement. Now it's mostly magazines on this shelf. Science Fiction Almanac 26 edition. That was there before. The system exposed the hidden anarchy and order. Education program information booklet. Sure, why not? Socialize every day. Socialization is a core element of the education program. Report any suspicious activity on school grounds. Don't feed stray animals on school grounds. Okay, but you can feed them anywhere else. Stray animals? Sure, go for it. Stay safe and ensure the safety of your fellow students. Mom brought plants to liven up the room, but anyone barely looks after them. Anarchist cookbook. Okay, I think that was there before, too. Um, now with more recipes. Kaboom! Advanced chemistry for explosive enthusiasts. Nice. Okay, so we need to feed Mad Cat before I go into the basement and freaking lose my mind forever. The bowl's empty. Okay. Cabin's full of glass bottles. The smell of lavender soap. Kitchen sink and a trash bin beneath it. Meaty smells coming from the oven. Aiden says that he burns mischievous children in it on Christmas. Really? Okay, Mac food goes here? Today's special meal is made of failed expectations and lost hope for humanity. Mac cat purrs with enjoyment. That's a good cat. So we gave it to you? Okay, I guess we did. So before we go to school, we want to greet everyone because that's one of our other tasks. So we need to go down here. Um, I'll save again. 
just in case. So where should I go? Oh, neat. I picked the dissection room first and foremost. This one's been operated on for a few weeks, poor thing. Okay. The man's name's Goodwin. Specimen looks like living bowels with eyes. I briefly wonder if it has vertebrae inside. Still breathing, okay? Huxley's operating on a patient. He's bringing the bone pieces together with super glue. Dr. Huxley? How are you, little Charlotte? Oh, to think of it, you're not so little anymore. To think human children grow so fast. Felix hasn't grown an inch in these years, but look at you. He looks different to me. Of course, the art style's a little bit different. Pfft. Some things just don't change, do they? <laughs> Dr. Huxley? Yes. How is he doing? Ah, Felix. Haven't you seen him upstairs? I thought you two got along rather well. Since my health started getting worse, we haven't spoken much. It's as if he's avoiding me. Uh, sorry, I was thinking out loud. It's okay. Come for advice whenever you feel like it. Uh, no one ever would be a bad idea, as I'm a busy man. Uh, hmm. How about making an appointment in advance, then? Thank you, Dr. Hussley. I appreciate the sentiment, but you really don't have to. I sincerely hope you two make up. Especially since my cute nephew hasn't got anyone his age to talk to. Just like Bennett. Ah, am I talking too much? You should hurry to school. Here, have a sticker. W why a sticker? Thanks? Okay, so the badge on his suit reads Lecter. Reusing old corpse pouches. Pouches? Is that what they're in, or are we just taking a part of the human body and renaming it the, the pouch? I don't know. Eating light bulbs is wrong. Yes, it is. Introducing cannibalism. And not even like a shame on you wrong, but like glassing your teeth don't do it kind of wrong. Warning mutant spiders inside reads the label. Okay, his name appears to be Archibald. There are a bunch of detached limbs. Lovely. Baldwin. Okay, everything I know about humans I learned from my lawnmower. <coughs> I'm sorry, what? A passion for scalpels. Okay. Zero, 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 0001 the fog. Sure. Back in the days I used to be at the top of my class. I loved being right, answering correctly. I loved doing things better than everyone else. Mother always said that I inherited my hardworking mindset from my father. I was happy. I wasn't <laughs> fragment deleted. Okay, it's just that one day my classmates decided that shit. <laughs> fragment deleted. Fragment deleted. Fragment deleted. Then one day the fog appeared. Uh, with each passing day, I found my head becoming filled with it until I couldn't think clearly anymore. I've been clumsy, absent-minded, indecisive. Everything I had to be. I knew myself for it. One day I realized that the fog wasn't just in my head anymore. It was all around me, surrounding me, consuming me, shielding me. Lovely. What's this bookshelf? Still sleepwalking after 35 years. You might as well give up at that point. You're going to be sleepwalking for the rest of your life. Um, okay, so what's over here? Hi, Aiden's room. Good morning, Aiden. Good morning to you as well, my dear. I hope you haven't forgotten that we have a piano lesson this evening. Of course not. It would be a pity if you missed your practice. I will be waiting for you in the piano room. Like, this evening, right? Not, not right now. We'll come back here later. Okay, cool. I need cute dresses. Perfectly symmetrical position on both sides. Okay, I guess that's it. She's not going to describe how the dresses look. Access denied. Doors with a puppeteer symbol can only uh, open to those with an X in their name, Seth. But Huxley reprogrammed it to let this uh, to let his crew workers through. So Florence or the others might be here. Violent room. It's locked. Not violet, but violent. Interesting. Okay, so I guess we need to, we need to go to school, don't we? And I went the wrong way. Okay, so am I done with talking to everybody? No. Who else do I need to talk to? I thought I greeted everyone. Uh, wouldn't it be rude to leave like this? Who's left? I talked to everybody, right? Felix? Listen, you'll be late for school. Also, take these. Use them after socializing or you'll die on the spot later. Required anxiety pills? What? 
That doesn't sound lovely at all. There's nobody else here. Who else am I supposed to socialize with? What? I talked to you. I'll come back later. Okay. Um, hmm. We talked to everybody here. Archibald. Uh, he's busy. Better not hinder him. I, I, I swear I spoke to everybody. Who else have we not spoken to? I mean, she's talked to Seth, which is us. Um, I just, I don't know. Should we go back to the TV room? Watch a little TV or something? Sure. Just a quick look, then we have to hurry. Oh God. <clears throat> Today on Panto Pi, what? Panopticon TV. There we go. Truth about eco food revealed. Who would have known the green levels were put on packages only to raise their price? Watch us at 7 p.m. to find out more. Uh, sure. With brand new scientifically testified antibiotic technology, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to store milk products in the fridge. Without any life forms in your yogurt, it will never get spoiled. Best before, best forever. Life going too fast, tired of the rush, we've got you covered. For just $9.99, one minute will last twice as long. Slow a zone, just one pill to savor the moment. Slow a zone? Okay, there's nothing here. There's nobody back in my room. Who am I supposed to greet? Guys? Phone? It doesn't work, right? I know she's referred to mom a couple times, but I don't think we've seen a motherly figure. Um, hmm. Did I, did I do bad already? Are you gonna say anything else? What word from you'll be late don't you understand? There's a door that won't open for me. There's no X in Charlotte. Could have asked Huxley for it. He's busy. I'm busy too. Ah! Fine, lead the way. Yay! Oh, okay. Hey, buddy. It's been a minute. It's been a little bit since we've joined forces together. So cute. Okay, in here. Hi. Hi, Florence. Oh, right on time. Can you hold some of these uh, this useless junk for me? I think I stole too many light bulbs, so Dr. Huxley might start suspecting me. Uh, sure. I can help. Here you go. Pepper spray, pepper spray, or pepper spray? Well, I mean, when you make it that enticing of a choice, I guess I'll go with pepper spray. Thanks for your cooperation. What the heck? Why did I come in for this? That's it. I can't look at anything else. Can I return to work now? Sure. Thank you. Can, can I go to school now? Now then, onwards to school, Seth. Which one is school? Shh, no disturbing the neighbors. The door we need is the last one. Uh, no open doors day today. Rude. I'll leave this one to you, Seth. Riddles are your credo, aren't they? Riddles? Um. I mean, I know there's the sticker. I take out the sticker and place it on my bag. What a nice sticker you have here. Uh, where are we going, dear friend? Uh, second floor. Got it, buddy. I don't know what floor I'm on. Oh my god. What is this? Whoa. Let's beat them sense into this freak. A few punches will make him respect the elders, eh? This looks bad. Can we help somehow, Seth? So we'll just leave. Uh, I'll look into it. If only we had something to use. P pepper spray. We got pepper spray. Right, we have pepper spray with us. <laughs> so who's filthy now? Feel like apologizing yet? I have nothing to apologize for. Is that so? Why don't we cut out that tongue of his if he has nothing to say? Wouldn't that be too cruel to ruin such a pretty face? Then why don't we do something more fun? As I take a step closer, one of the students notices me. 
But who are you? Um, sorry to interrupt, but just spray him in the face. Yes! Oh, Charlotte, I love you. That's the best. Haven't your parents taught you? Violence is no good. Ah! My eyes! All four of them. Get it off! Run! Quick! I reach out for the boy's wrist. He slaps it away. I, I didn't mean to... Later about that. Run! Go, 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 go. We're out of here. We are 100% out of here. To school? Take a leap down. Should we? What's on the other floors then? Oh, what was that? <laughs> I don't think it expected me to go back. Hey kid, we're gonna, um, oh, we can't. Okay, I hope I didn't miss anything. I didn't know what floor I was on, so I figured the second floor would be, you know, a nice middle ground to start on. But I guess not. I guess we gotta jump on down to school. Here we go. Phew, we got away. <sighs> Are you okay? This body's too fragile. Throat hurts. The boy pants heavily, barely standing. He's completely out of breath. Seems like PE is not your best subject. You're so small. How did you distract them? All thanks to pepper spray. I wave the thumb-sized bottle before his eyes. He barely looks up. Florence says box cutters and pipes, uh, and pipes are fine and all, but they're not as effective in a big fight. Uh, I see. Uh, what did you do to them anyway? As I have said, nothing. They're contaminated. I've only commented on that. So that's what well, the filth deal was about. More importantly, wouldn't these people target you? Why would they? Huh? There's nothing to worry about. Everybody at school loves me. Moreover, I'll always have Seth on my side. What's important right now is that I helped a fellow schoolmate. Schoolmate? It's our school's uniform you're wearing, aren't you? Is it? <laughs> got it, got it. Sorry, Seth gets grumpy when we're late to class. I can show you the way to the infirmary. Okay, so it's like a big ball pit. <laughs> what? Initializing, initiating socialization with student amalgamate. Charlotte's squad got the advantage. Charlotte's squad escapes. What the heck was that? What the heck was that? Garden. Seth, we need to take him to the infirmary. Oh, I'm so blessed to catch a glimpse of our princess in the morning. Poster says pets not allowed, but you know, I've seen stray mad cats in the garden. Psst, Seth, why don't we check it out if it's true later? Where are your faces? Shh, someone might hear. Infirmary, here we go, here it is. The nurse here is kind, so don't worry. I see, thank you. The boy disappears behind the door. Can we go in? No? Mutilated student? What is this? Smile, discuss, reassure, anxiety pills. Melts heart if done right. Which part of the body do I talk to first, I wonder? Has no effect on the mutilated student. Tries to say something, it has no effect on Charlotte. What is this? Tries to start a conversation, the mutilated student lost three battery points. They tried to say something, Charlotte lost one social battery point. This is so different. I don't think I want to fight them. Charlotte escapes socialization. Like, I, I guess it's like Undertale is still in my head of like, what happens if I do that? You know, if I destroy everyone. A wonderful day, isn't it? Uh, sure, we'll go to the second floor. I don't remember this place. My class should be among these doors. Class A1. A2. Hi. Is this my classroom? Nobody's talking to me. I'm sorry, I'm a bit lost here. Have you seen class A1 somewhere here? Why, yes. The very first door leads to A1. But you can't get here without a pass. 
then where can I get it? My friend from D3 had it. Go ask him. D3? Okay. What, what is this deal here? Okay, do I need to go into any of these other doors? Vaporization in progress, access denied. Oh my god. Lesson in progress, access denied. Okay. Hi. If only I could be of help. Well, not with that kind of attitude, you can't. You need to at least offer it. Be like, oh, I wish I was helpful to somebody. And then not. Quarantine, access denied. Currently unavailable. Under construction. Currently held in second dimension, access denied. I'm so confused right now. Uh, you phone and F book users only, access denied. Uh, only for cool kids. Oh, I'm a cool kid. Gone with the wind, access denied. <laughs> okay, so D3, right? Kept in isolation until summer. Is this D3? A pass to A1? I don't have one. Okay, well, thanks. This is D3, right? Right? Let me tell you a secret. If you open the very first door with the white door pass, it'll get you to A1. But, but I need that. I, I, white door pass? Where do you get it? Okay, so D's like all over it. The student's head explodes into a million pieces. His brains are scattered all around the floor. The student continues to browse the web on his phone despite losing his head. What happened to this game? I mean, it was a little weird, but now it's like weird. You know? <laughs> D4 organ harvesting and process access denied. Or in progress, sorry. A pass? I'm so sorry. I already gave it to the girl from F4. You definitely should go there. At least you didn't lose your head, buddy. There's no D in your name, access denied. D for denied. There weren't much brains to begin with. Okay. Sure. No entry for lunatics. Oh, I'm not a lunatic, how dare you? Stop exploding. Why is this happening? No one seems to notice that his head exploded. Um, there's been three instances of this happening so far. Toxic level above normal, access denied. Shroom soup in preparation, access denied. Just whatever reason they can think of, huh? Hi, is your head gonna explode? Why didn't you come sooner? I've already lost my pass in a bet. Why don't you go to C2 and beg for it? Oh my god. <laughs> In infestated with head crabs. Okay, Half-Life reference. In this class, we appreciate Crocs. Uh, error 404, access denied. Okay, so C? C2 is here? You wanna pass? If you take my trash, I'll give it to you. Sure, yeah, here you go. Acquired trash. What else do you need? I give you the pass already. Oh, you did? I didn't really notice that. What do we got? A few ju juice boxes and candy packages. Okay, contains all the truths in the world. Oh! Purpose to air from false realm, short lifespan, spends half of life sleeping, no free will, despite denying it, likes cats to a ridiculous degree. Aw, aliens! A purpose unknown, false realm, disguises humans, always busy. High murderous intent can eat soap. Okay, no, oh, that's me, I guess. Okay, purpose to control from true realm. Observers to observe true um, realm world government members do not interfere with natural flow of events unless ordered to. Okay, Freya. Uh, type four civilization, ability to manipulate space and time, dangerous. Uh, every something perceives them differently? Every race, race, okay, oh my God. Godlike existence, one body vessel cannot contain an oracle in full health. Omnipotent, omnivorous population greater than those of humans. High IQ. Cute as cats, scary as maggots, love food very loud. Okay, cool. 
We did it. Class A1, so we need to use our pass here. Right? Uh, search the plastic bag. Found the white door pass. Yes. Finally. My head spins after all this running. At least it didn't explode. I go to my place. Someone taps my shoulder. Psst. Henry, what took you so long? I thought we were going to check homework before class. Uh, my bad. I ran into some trouble on my way here. Oh, really? Wiltshire Warhol. No talking in class, please. Henry loudly clicks her tongue. We're so sorry, teacher. We, you apologize, too. I'm sorry. All right. <clears throat> Attention, everyone. We have a new student in our class. Please introduce yourself. Hello. There's no name that can define me, but you can refer to me as C. I'm the god of this world. The class explodes with laughter. Do not be afraid. I won't be staying there for long. Uh, take your seat, Mr... Wordsworth? Okay. Why are you speaking backwards, teach? The class starts. I try to focus on the teacher's speech. Ahem. Today our topic is the trial and soul cubes. As you all know, since you've turned 15, you're not able to see your soul cubes. Soul cubes store your soul data, as the name implies. It's speculated that soul cubes are just smaller omnicubes, which rose a controversy among our scientists. If soul cubes are omnicubes, then aren't we just meat armor they control? I'm sure you have heard these kinds of news. Just like any data storage, soul cubes can become corrupted. That's where the trial comes in. The trial exists for helping the defective. Their cubes will be formatted and debugged. Our school is proud to certify that it's usually one person a year, but sometimes it's two. As you all know, the annual 75th trial will be held quite soon, which all of you will attend for the first time. Who can tell the purpose of the trial? It's for correcting the the the, 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 the defective. Right. The trial exists for the sole purpose of providing help to our students. A public voting among students and teachers alike will be held to determine the defective student among us. Tell me, who has a defective cube? Anybody? Remember, it's someone who will amount to nothing if not provided help. Now, class, how do we avoid cube corruption? We go to school. We abide the rules. We socialize. Very good. Interesting. Um, okay. Now let's proceed with the lesson. Why are you talking backwards? It's lunch break time. I look at Henry. We always eat together after all. She looks like she's about to cry. Did something happen? Uh, oh no. I forgot my wallet. Even though I wanted to buy us a meal today. I'm so worthless. Don't say that. I'll buy you something. Really? You'll do that for someone like me? You're not at fault, Henri. It happens to everyone. Yay, I'll be waiting on the rooftop. Yep, see you later. Let's go, Seth. Let's buy some apples and activate the warp point. Uh, while we're at it, shall we? Only apples? I don't really feel like eating much today. Sorry. Actually, I feel like I could throw up any moment. Really? So she's not feeling well. I hope she's not corrupted. Oh, that freaks me out. Okay, I'm just gonna escape. Maybe you guys will be able to tell me what this is, but for now, I'm just gonna leave. If it lets me leave, I'm leaving. Hi. Um, okay, you know what? I think we're gonna go ahead and save and we'll leave this episode here. This game is very weird. I'm liking it, but it's just very weird. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's play. Do you want to play a game of hide and seek with me, my friends? You see, I'm really bored. That's right. Let's play a game. Boredom's the worst, isn't it? <laughs> Open your eyes. Come here, scissors. Char Charlotte? What is happening?